And the Supreme Court has ruled that as long as I am not in the middle, in between you and your job, and at least 10 feet away, standing here recording is I'm not hindering her telling. job, telling, per okay. the Supreme Court. Got Me it. simply standing here quietly recording cannot be deemed impeding her job when I'm over 20 feet away. Okay, okay guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and share these videos. And also, go to my backup channel and subscribe, and also go to my Facebook page and give me a like and a follow as I'm trying to reach 10,000 followers on Facebook, guys. I need to expand my videos towards Facebook because I don't know what's going on with this channel. And guys, go to the original link in the description and give this person some credit. She did a good job on educating these cops on the Constitution of the United States. I will do more of educational videos too. So stay tuned for those new videos coming soon. Bye-bye. Nope. Of course, the duty needs something. I have a constitutional right to record you in the course of your duty. I am over 10 feet away. I am not impeding your duty. I am not in the middle of you and your job. Me standing here exercising my right, if your ADD is going to prevent you from doing your job, go on. <laughs> I'm exercising my right to record my government officials in the course of their duty. You will not infringe on that right when you sworn oath. You can ask all you want. I have a right to stand right where I'm at, where I'm legally allowed to be to record you more than 10 feet away from you. You obviously do if you're trying to get me to move. You, it's broad daylight. I'm right in plain view. <laughs> Your directives are not needed. <laughs> Clearly, like 20 feet away, the Supreme Court's already ruled 10 feet is plenty. <laughs> <sighs> You should also be recording them, it's your right. Yup. Do you mind if I uh, pan over? These guys here also know they're right. They're also recording. Stop recording, gonna happen. Yeah, quit talking, bootlicker. Got a bootlicker right there. Trying to tell us not to exercise our right. Just like this tyrant here trying to violate her oath of office to tell me directives on where I can record when the law is already dictated where I'm allowed to record. <laughs> and this is the department that was uh, impersonating a federal agent threatening me with arrest, lying that I had a federal warrant. Yet I'm told not to record this department. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, I'm not afraid of being recorded, lady. You don't scare me. Not no more. Hi. How about that one, cunt? Freedom of speech. How about that? And yes, I'm flipping her off because she's an oath-breaking cunt. We got unit 129, E5376. And she put her body cam back off the window. Let's see if he actually honors his oath to uphold and defend the Constitution or not. Unlike this oath-breaking tyrant here. Quite the <laughs> Got it. Yet I walked up here quietly recording and she tried giving me unlawful directives. Okay. Okay. Well, I, That's the disturbance is her. Hang on, hang on, hang on. 
I'd rather be between you and her. Oh, I understand. I I'm just trying to explain the situation. Here. I'm just here to obviously try to figure out what's going oh, yeah. on. So Literally, I'm recording you guys. It is your First Amendment right. I completely understand that, okay? And but the Supreme Court has ruled that as long as I am not in the middle, in between you and your job, and at least 10 feet away... I don't know the distance or anything like I that. I do. Oh, I I've know. looked it up. Yeah. I've been doing the research yeah, for four to five years. Yeah. All I'm just saying is obviously if it hinders her from doing her investigation of this traffic stop, that's why we're getting involved. standing here recording is I'm not hindering her telling. job, just per okay. the Supreme Court. Got Me it. simply standing here quietly recording cannot be deemed impeding her job when I'm over 20 feet away. Okay. Okay. And but the Supreme Court has ruled that as long as I am not in the middle in between you and your job, and at least 10 feet away. I don't know the distance or anything like I that. Do. Oh, I do. I've know. looked it up. Yeah. I've been doing the research yeah. for four to five years. Yeah. All I'm just saying is, obviously, if it hinders her from doing her investigation of this traffic Me stop, that's why we're Me standing involved. here recording is I'm not hindering her telling. job, telling, per okay. the Supreme Court. Yeah. Me simply standing here quietly recording cannot be deemed impeding her job when I'm over 20 feet away. Okay. How am I impeding her job? Obviously, her safety. She's concerned about that. You being I'm a guy just, standing here I'm with just, a cat. I'm just saying. Recording her. And sh her whole problem was me recording. Okay. And like I said, it's and it's all on camera. I don't care. Well, I already know record. that. Exactly. So. The only problem is, is issue. she escalated it trying to tell What's me I had so to move. So I can address you by your Not name. needed. Not needed? Okay. No. Then what crime am I suspected of? I'm not saying you committed a crime. I'm just then trying to be respectful. And I don't need to give a name. I need your identification. For? Because you are creating a disturbance. I did not you, create a disturbance. This person right here is watching you. You were yelling at people okay, going over there. Okay, them watching me and me speaking to people is constitutionally protected. Are you not going to identify yourself? What crime do you suspect me of? Disorderly conduct. I can go get my free right speech. There. This is not free speech. You are yelling at passing cars. Somebody yelled at me and I responded. Okay, that's that is constitutionally protected free speech. I did not initiate. enough of a disturbance that that person <laughs> said something to you. Okay. You need Since, to identify yourself. Can I get a sergeant out here or somebody above her? 114 because somebody, she's like trying to convert a constitutional right himself. into a crime, which is illegal, and you will be committing a fel uh, federal felony by forcing an ID and violating my civil rights. So you got people there looking. You got people here looking. People, people looking does not constitute a disturbance. conduct. Yes, it does. <laughs> So me, me simply standing here recording you and you initiating. I, all I asked was if you move forward. That's all I asked. And I'm so over so 20 feet away. I'm in perfect view, broad daylight. View. That is all I asked you to move forward. You can yes, and I can sim and that is a started. request. I'm done talking to you. <laughs> so, can we talk over here? Yes, please, because she's just escalating. Fair enough. You guys, anyone that encounters me knows I do not try to cause a problem. I simply walk up right down the middle of this. Mm -hmm. Plain view, recording. I stood right in that pile, mm -hmm. quiet as a mouse, just recording. She opens the window aggressive, telling me I have to move. Okay. I already know the Supreme Court rulings. I tried politely telling her this, that I'm over 20 feet away, I'm in broad daylight, I am simply recording. That's it. And she started escalating, getting upset, and causing all of this. Yes, I did also try to get my point through there was a gentleman screamed from halfway across the road at me and i simply said keep driving bootlicker that's it no other issue there and simply people watching is not a uh, domestic or a uh, disorderly you're, you're conduct walking a fine line. let me i'll tell you that you're my constitutional right to speak and to record cannot be converted into a crime simply because somebody else is watching me exercise my right. But when you start making noise <laughs> and saying stuff like that, it can be. When I, I start I, asserting my rights, it becomes disorderly conduct? You're walking a fine line. Well. No, you guys are. Title 18, Section 242, you guys are about to violate my civil rights. And also, and you know, you that is that a federal you're crime. To, you're, you're not trying to cause trouble. Yeah. No, if she would not have said anything to me, or if she would have been polite about it, there would have been no issue at all. Would you have moved forward? If she wouldn't have tried acting like I had to, yes. If she would have said, hey, simply so I can see you, could you please move so forward a bit? It's, it's a, she it's a opened the window place. and just straight started barking orders telling me I had to move. Okay. No, I don't. The Supreme Court's already ruled. 
as long as I am not in between her and her job, and, then when you get arrested, and I am over 10 feet away, and, the... and I will contact the city attorney, and they will throw it out and do an investigation, just like they did with Racine PD on the last citation I got. Sure. I, you know, and, 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 you might and that will be on time. you, and then that will be a violation of my civil rights and a federal crime. It's Title not... 18, you might not believe it is. I've done the research. I and know a lot better than you guys. Have yes, you, I've you, had tickets thrown out because okay. I know what and, I'm and, talking and you about. Have, have you had any departments charged with a federal crime by doing it? No, because I have not chosen to because that's not my goal. This could all be goal. My goal what is, is goal? for you guys to understand that when a citizen walks up over 10 feet away from you, quietly recording, and you try giving them a directive that they have to move and they politely tell you, no, Supreme Court has already ruled I'm over 20 feet away. I am not impeding your job by being in between you and your job. Where, where is it? Where is it? You can look it up. It's not my job to show you the laws right. that you're and about if I to ask violate. You to do something and you don't, just it's like not my it's job not your job to explain the laws to me. It's not my job to explain your job to you. Okay, but it is my job to explain. You know, if you're doing something and then you become <laughs> disorderly and you get arrested. Yet me simply standing here speaking, which is constitutionally protected free speech, cannot, per the supremacy clause be deemed a crime period right and you doing that isn't but when you start attracting the unwanted attention of others that is not unwanted they're just simple bystanders right. like that's, me trying to figure out what's going on and that the scene it's it's the i am not the one that caused scene. the scene that's the point you're missing you are. i stood there quietly right. she initiated right. but by you i did here, not initiate by you walking up here if you no. never would have walked up here you if, wouldn't have had that issue oh so if i wouldn't have exercised my constitutional rights there wouldn't have been an issue so what, citizens are supposed this, to just what, what not exercise business? their rights. How is this your business? Your job is my hey, business. Business? I have a con it's out. I, know, I, I have a constitutional right to be in our business. To record the police in the course of their duty. They are in the course of their and duty. That is public up, business. That is public record. Because it's a safety. Only issue. if it is backed by a law. It is not a lawful order if it is not backed by a law and the Supreme Court has already ruled against that. And then you get arrested because it's a safety issue. And, and then I'm, you guys would be the ones what? dealing with the consequences of it. Okay. Just okay. because I haven't doesn't mean I won't. Okay. And then if you, you all I have to do, do is make one phone call to the FBI yeah. after my rights are violated, give them the video evidence. And it's over. And I've already do done that with issues. another department in another state. It's safety issue. Is what it's it is about. not safety. If you are here for public safety, mm -hmm. a citizen who is quietly, calmly recording you doing your job cannot be deemed a crime. You have no authority over a citizen until they violate the law. Your Concern over safety does not trump my right. You only <laughs> so have authority the over a citizen. Life. You only have authority over a citizen when they break the law. And you I the law. am not breaking the law. You did. You're not getting arrested so for that. I am speaking my mind, recording the police. Yelling that is breaking the law. The I did not yell. I simply made a short, couple words statement, and they drove off. There? They yelled out to me. I did not create that disturbance. It doesn't matter if you created it. If, 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 if you're, if you're <laughs> so you're gonna crime. you're gonna sit there so and say I'm committing the crime of creating a disturbance. Yet I did not create the disturbance, and you're telling me that doesn't matter. You're involved in a disturbance, and you precipitated the disturbance. So my free speech is a disturbance, and warrants all this waste of tax dollars. Yep. You standing here and not moving ten feet up like you're asked. Like I'm not required dollars. by law. <laughs> but you're, you're worried about taxpayers' dollars being wasted. That's that's why we're here, because you couldn't... Uh, because you guys are oath breakers. Okay. You guys want to violate civil rights. That it, that will definitely be shown, and that will definitely be posted online. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy. And all of this Do you have ID is ID? out of retaliation. I don't carry ID. You guys already know my name. I don't know your name. You can I, ask them. I'd I've had three officers you. already state my name. You can ask them. They already know it. But I'm talking to you. You want yes, a supervisor, yes, they already know okay. my name. So you can I'm get it from them. Me. No, that's not how this works. You want yes, it is. You guys already have my information. You Why do I have to give it? Because I'm asking you. And that's I wish right. that dude was a supervisor because he has been decent with me before. All right, Mike. You get a promotion, he right? is actually decent. I'm just asking for your name. You are you. escalating, trying to create a crime out of a constitutional right. No, I'm just asking you what your name is. You are saying I have to give you my name because supposedly I am being disorderly by exercising my constitutional rights. I'm asking you for your name because you wanted to talk to a supervisor and I'm here for That is not a valid reason to require my name. It, it I am is. not, no. It, 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 per Wisconsin law, 
The only time a citizen is required, I'm not, I don't have to tell you the penal code. The law states, I know the exact law. It states the only time a citizen has to give identification is when a officer has reasonable articulable suspicion that the citizen has committed a crime, meaning you actually have something to back it up. Which one? What's the law? You should know it. It's the most used law you use. Identification law. Yeah, and what, what, that what? says... You're, you're talking penal codes and stuff. What law? Yes. I'm not required to do your job for you. Look you know up that. the identification but law in Wisconsin. Name of people if All you have I to know to. you are... I, I, your I, policy yes. is... I am not required to follow so policy. I am name, required to follow if my... If you would like to give me your name, we can continue <laughs> this conversation. It's that simple. Oh, so you're not going to address your officer violating her oath of office? What I do with Calling my all of you here... For a constitutional right. What I do with my officer is, if you'd like to do a formal complaint, you're more than welcome to come into the <laughs> And then you got all these joke clowns no, over here, except for I'm, this officer here. I'll deal with it. He's been decent with me in the past. The rest of them that I've dealt with, including this one, are nothing but a joke. Oath-breaking tyrants. <laughs> Would you like to give me your name or not? No, Maybe but I need evil. all of your names that came in contact with me because so that is your department your policy. Name, but you expect your you policy me. dictates that anytime you come in contact when with the... When you want to give me your name, I'll give you what you're asked for. But I'm okay, I'll talk address. with your chief of police it, it because you guys mean. are required by policy to give you your name, you. rank, and payroll and number. Required. I am only required when you have reasonable no or articulable suspicion like of a crime. Okay, I will follow your unlawful directive under threat of arrest, and that right there, because you do not have control of this property, is unlawful. Okay. So you are violating my rights, you sorry-ass tyrant. You have a wonderful day. Yeah, go suck it hard, you sorry-ass tyrant, oath-breaking piece of trash. And watch, now they're going to retaliate for my constitutional free speech. Oh, I'm getting them. So let's see, they're all still in the piggy huddle. Couldn't force nothing.